Hello, everyone. Hi, Tom. Hello. Where are we going, Elsie? Ooh, we are tomorrow going to Seaford. All right, so it's the 30th tomorrow, isn't it? So end of yes. the uh, time of not going fishing, back to going fishing, Seaford. Yes, Seaford is lovely. Um, we're still thinking where we go to fishing. Okay. Um, in this area, I think uh, we can cause some uh, place. Uh huh. Easy snow snagging. Yeah, no but, snags, okay. Yeah, but down to the big area, uh, maybe you get more chance to have a lot of fish. Different sea bass, species. maybe? Yeah, different species. But probably we'll have a snack over there, over 100 meter outside. Yeah. Have a something uh, electricity cable. That's yeah. right, yeah, I've heard yeah. about that. Whereas yeah. here, there's place been showing, <laughs> large yeah. place been showing in tide mills yeah. and even around here. Yes. So place more less snaggy and more kind of sandy but more rocky, more snags but chance of uh, sea bass, right? So what's the uh, conditions like? Oh, the weather. Right. Lovely. Okay, you got us first. What's this? Graph? Uh, this is uh, um, the uh, pressure. Oh, sea pressure. air pressure. Air pressure, air pressure yeah. yeah. Right. So uh, you can see. Um, it's high. High. Anything high over a thousand, yeah. 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 So we got good weather. I think the weather was meant yeah. forecast to be pretty good. Yes. Best um, of the year so far. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's this? So that is uh, water temperature. Water oh, temperature nine. Okay, yeah, it's not bad. Nine, yeah, not bad. All right. Yeah. What else have we got? And this oh, is we are going to really important thing. So, so. Wave height. We call it wave height. Yeah, quite high. Yeah. Better well, than, yeah. better than being very low. We we notice that you don't really catch many fishes when it's yeah. when there's no waves. It doesn't really help. Yeah. Uh, when there's waves. So what, mm, nearly, so, nearly um, one metre wave, yeah. that's quite high, which is quite good. Mm, so yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that, 0 0.75, not, not too high, you know, to put you off. Yeah, so... Uh, um, yeah, it's not going to drag your rig around. Oh, yeah, okay. That one is good, yeah. Um, yes. Around 7 o'clock, yeah, probably lower Low tide, tide, and then after high the tide, high tide, and then 7... About 7.30, yeah. 7 it's low, 30, tide again. low tide again. Sunrise, half six. Sunset, Set, half seven. seven yeah. Tide coefficient, that's important. That tells you how high. How high. Yeah, oh, here we go. 109, so that's Nine, really yeah. high. So that is quite mm -hmm. good, actually. Yeah. With a, with a massive tide going in and out, it would drag, um, hopefully there's no weed, but it would drag the bait around you. Yeah? Yeah. They drag the worms out of the hole and the fish hopefully will come along. So it's a bit of action tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Yes. Let's have a look at the next what we got. The weather. Oh the weather. Wow. Yeah. We're looking for sunny, lovely weather. Yeah, no chance of rain. No chance of wind is quite important. Now the wind is not going to be in our favour. Wind yeah, is it's four and three. Four pounds. mile an hour from the east yeah. and from the south. So they always say East is least, so that's not good. East, easterly wind, not good. Temperature, the only thing so far that's not good. Yeah, temperature around nine. Nine. So we're hoping for clear weather, good weather. We're mm. hoping for the, because it's place we're after, we're hoping for clear, gin clear water. That helps with catching in place. We've got some waves there knocking the worms around. So maybe, maybe, hopefully. First, first time fishing this year. All right, great stuff. But, but uh, before that, we're going to show uh, some new gear we're going to use, right? Well, yes. All right, let's Exciting. do that. Yeah. What have we got, Elsie? Wow, we have got the Canon camera EOS M50. All right. And uh, why did we decide on this one? Uh, because we want to improve our visual and sounds. We did a lot of research, didn't we? 
yes. hours of it and we came up with this camera. Uh, you could, if there's anything you can remember why we bought this, the, um, I would say for the money that you can get, it's probably the, one of the best cameras for the money you can get. So the Canon EOS M50, right? Uh, we also got it with a bag as well. We can yes. open up the bag as well, a camera bag. Uh, the, this this Canon here actually can work with old lenses. I've got a whole bag of uh, old 30, 40 year ago lenses. And all I need is maybe an adapter to put it on. This is a mirrorless camera. camera. Uh, so it's smaller for us uh, than your normal big SLRs, single lens reflex. Mm -hmm. No mirror, so it's smaller, easier to hold, and with a simple adapter you can put old lenses on. In fact, it probably works better, this does, with old lenses than the, uh, the full-size SLRs, uh, digital SLRs, because it's got no mirror. It, wherever you focus on it with an old lens, that's it. And a lot of the ca uh, cameras like Nikon, you have to go pay at a really high price before you can uh, use old lenses. Yes. Whereas this is like your best the kind best. of vlogger kit ca uh, camera. It's a Canon. It's got a good lens that comes with it. And also you can use old lenses on it, old manual lenses, which is great. Yeah. I've got so many I'm going to use on so many trips we can try. Yeah. Gonna, you know, one day I'll show you we're using this lens and another day we're using that lens. Hopefully we're going to be using this one tomorrow and get no sand in it, right? If we, yeah. <laughs> I haven't got a, filter, a proper UV filter for it. Uh, yeah, it's so not even opened it yet. It's brand new. Yeah, so the Can Canon are renowned for their beautiful lenses that produce uh, a really skin nice tone. skin tone. Yes. Okay. This ca this camera comes with um, audio jack as well. So we're going to be this kit comes with. Uh, a, a microphone, I guess, a directional microphone. Yeah. So, I'm going to help you with that. Road, wow. and that's light. You can even yeah. feel that in the box. So that's a that's. Remember all our some of our old footages, where all we get is like wind noise, right? And you can't hear a thing. This is. You can buy a furry one if you want, but this is going to cut back a lot on it. So we're going to kind of still use our uh, uh, Panasonic. Uh, camera which with the Leica lens this is why we have such really good looking films because we use a Panasonic uh, with a Leica lens but that is such an old camera you 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 know in some of our videos you, you know with a bright sunshine you get like a like a purpley line vertical line so this is you know if a lens goes on this we'll just get another lens so there's that one comes with a spare battery LPE12 that's great a spare battery comes with 32 gigabyte very fast card which is what we want one want appropriate card because this this camera can do 4k at 30 frames per second but we're probably going to film most of ours in 1080 and we can go slow-mo we can go 20 we're going to film most of our stuff in 24 frames per second mm -hmm. but we're going to do some 60s uh, using slow slow motion as well Right, so there's 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 the camera. It's not very weighty at all. Oh, I forgot it comes with a gorilla pod, so we can hold that for vlogging. We can run. You've seen me run after, obviously holding this thing. <laughs> so so much to unpack. Um, you can see what that is. We know what that is. Uh, we know what these are. Don't need to unpack them. So we can just maybe just unbox this. And we can put it together. I am waiting for an adapter because the end of this lens, the end of that lens there is, this is a 15 to 45 zoom lens. Good quality one, but very cheap and plasticky. But I need to get uh, an adapter because I've got loads of filters, LC. Loads of, loads of glass filters, UV filters, I've got a polarizing filter. So I need to put an adapter on there because that's a 49 millimeter end. And normally I've got the 52, the old SLR 52s. Put the adapter on, put the uh, thing to protect this lens, and I'll be away. But we, we've got to be careful tomorrow, we don't scratch the lens. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's the only thing. Keep using the lens cap. That's what it looks like. That's what the box. Right, so, and we've got that oh, bag. Also, I have a bag as well. Yep, that came with a, the, the kind of 
offer, I guess. Offer, yeah. Cheapest you can get uh, um, that we could get is quite that a good gift. Good brand as well. Yeah, it's a nice camera bag. Loads of pockets. And yeah, adjustable oh. insides. Well, we're not experts. So on this, in, the, in the front, you can put the. Um, DVD All bits and bits, these like our cards, memory cards. So this is the, the camera. The meeting bowls. This is all adjustable. All this is adjustable. So that's can put cable and yeah, it's a really phones, great, bag. Yeah, great bag. So that came with the offer. You had to buy it separately. I think it's five pounds off for this bag. Really. So uh, uh, sideways, you can put water. I'll leave a link in the description, right? We will. But basically this was bought from Argos. UK, UK store Argos. We we thought we really need to improve the quality since this camera, this Panasonic one, is really on its last. It's not on its last leg. It's still rolling after 12 years, but. Oh, they have a, don't a know what manual, that is. yeah. Oh, okay. They've got a instructions manual. Very good. Probably online you can get that as well. So, cabling, charging plug. Uh, all right, okay. This is straight from that. That looks a bit odd. There's no adapter. Oh, that's the oh, there's the camera. I'm not sure what that means. Is it plugged straight into the look? See that end? I'm not sure what that means. Normally, there's some sort of uh, yeah, a bit I was expecting about 12 volts. Or oh, there it is. There's the charger, battery charger. There should be a battery in there. Yep, so we've got two batteries. There's one there. And one here, two batteries in the kit. There's our lens, so we've got to be careful with that. Let's take that last. Nothing else in the box. Really nicely packed. Leave that there, like that. So we know what that is. We know what that is. Battery goes in. Let's have a quick peep, shall we, Elsie? Quick peep of this. Yeah. It's see the size. Elsie's got quite small hands, so anything look larger in it i've got oh, yeah. normal size hands this is quite small wow it's not really much bigger than our uh, panasonic that is really quite small uh, no i wasn't expecting that here i'm a normal gut size guy it's really small and light as well really light mm. kind of feels plasticky but this is high 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 specs this this camera um Trying to remember some of the things about it. Slow mo, we can do flip out screen sideways and it can rotate like that. So you can vlog yourself from the front holding the gorilla pod. It won't rotate anymore, so it only goes rotate one way. I don't think it can rotate upside down. Nope, it just goes one way like that. Well, I'm really, I'm, I'm getting a, a glass screen for this, so we're protecting this. Yeah. And that goes that eyepiece. Eyepiece adjuster as well for under the S for, pe for people with different prescriptions of glasses. We can adjust it so it's really good. Oh, we've got a hot shoe, so we got we're gonna fit uh, a light on top. So oh, yeah, yeah, we got bought a light from PC World, and the light's gonna go in there. Then the the microphone's going on top of the. And then flash. Yeah, well, I don't need a flash. The flash is here. The inside there. Yeah, here. The flash, yeah. Flash is there. So we've got a flash. Let's see, you know, to do you take it out, oh, that's really plastic -y, but look. No mirror. Uh, you, can, you can program these buttons, but that is your normal button for, you can program this one for video. We're gonna use our, this mostly for video. Nice knob. And then you can use the touch screen as well. Touch screen, yeah, it's all touch screen. I wonder if this could work with it like because I'm see these hooks here when we really did a lot of search I'm gonna put a camera and I forgot to bring it as well a camera no I've got another one uh, I've got a, a strap a camera strap tied our neck so it's gonna sit on our on our stomach uh, you know almost like a uh, oh that's got a camera strap so yeah great so it will sit on our stomach while we're winding the fishes so we've got that view going there as well Right, so we'll have a quick look at the lens. Yeah. It's neatly packed, look, it can't fall out of the bottom. So 
so it's like a little pocket. It's really, I mean, Japanese has really done things well. I, although I was saying that, it's probably made in China. But, you know, the way they've done it, it's really good. Right. <coughs> so, here it is. That's, a, that's the baby I don't want to scratch. Keep it on. Look, here it is. 15 to 45. It's a 3.5 to 6.3 aperture. It's a Canon lens. Canon lenses usually give you a um, better look, like a skin tone. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to put an adapter on now. I've got polarizing lenses, I'm going to be using them. Polarizing lenses for uh, looking straight into the water, basically. Straight through the water. I've got UV lenses to protect it. Always buy like a UV lens or something, skylight they call them, they used to call them, to protect the end of that lens. So. No, I don't even sure I want to use this tomorrow. We'll probably do a little bit of filming with it, not too much. But that, pretty much. I mean, I'm very familiar with cameras, as you may not be. Never, never sit that down because the lens is poking out now. Sit that down like that. Yeah, you'll see that comes off like that. So now, line up the dots, white dot with white dot. See the white dot? White dot there. There we go, that's it. That is it. That is tiny. That is really? usable. Can you feel how? Yeah. That is usable. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. So, like I said, I've got loads of old Nikon Prime lenses, and even some kind uh, zoom lenses for Nikon, and also Canon lenses, old old manual lenses. I will be using them one by one. So you can use the tripod here as well. Yeah, tripod it. Uh, it's got image stabiliser in the lens, not image, this body has not got image stabiliser, but this particular lens has got it. Some lenses don't, but this one has. So we'll be filming some with our old, this, this um, Panasonic tomorrow. If you see me running after it, I'll see. I'll probably be using Panasonic. If I, I might do a few pictures and might do a few with that, but then we're going to be switching over to this once we get that lens covered up with a skylight all right that's it thank you for watching thank you for watching we're gonna hopefully next scene we'll be in seaford go to our normal tools and tackle hopefully they got bait in there for us we didn't check but hopefully yeah where are we Elsie? hiya everyone lovely day it's so our pan ranger Beautiful day. Seafood, eh? Yeah, lovely. Almost day of the year. This is on our new camera. It's actually got a zoom on it. <laughs> Zoom's not broken. So. Alright. Tom, you set up the new bro Brody. So we set over here because the high tide will not reach here. Oh, it's so quick. Tom already set up the new Brody. New brake umbrella. Is it easy? Is it easy to set up, Tom? When the wind is blowing, it won't be easy. Yes. No wind. If it was windy, you'd have to put the uh, set, the double bags down. Just set it up, and then you have to push against the wind. So we've got these skirts. It's not gonna. We're just using it. I mean, I really shouldn't be using this body today, but well, yeah. Still have something working here. Yeah. Right, as I haven't mentioned already, we should be. I got bait from a shop called. It's a boatyard shop, so I didn't get a shot of bait from Tools and Tackle. They didn't have any. Well, they were close, they were close. Okay. Buckle in the. Uh, 
When ready, we will show you again. Hello, Tom. Oh, thank you, Elsie. Oh, thank you. Number six hooks for a little tractor beat. Yeah. One, one live, fresh lugworm on three hooks, yeah? <laughs> so, Amazing. It's, it's really firm. Ooh. This is from that boat shop. With a boat uh, yard. Yeah, everywhere close. Everywhere's close. Only the boat yard is open in New Haven. I can't remember what they called it. Samson or something like that. So that would be way too big. And you cut that one up. They said it's fresh. It doesn't look alive to me, but. But juicy wood. Love fresh wood. means alive. Or does it mean fresh means dead, but greased up and salt, not salted up? No salt on it. It's not moving. I don't know. So we'll just chop it up a bit. Make sure the hook. Thank you for helping me putting up. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I already bring my craft. <laughs> Next time. This one, because he's a bit longer, I'm going to thread him through and then thread him through again. We're off the place. They are showing. I can pull through now, that looks better. Look. Pull the tail off, I guess. Don't need that. We've got three lovely sections of worm on uh, that's it really ready to throw out that's great okay use my new rod that's a new 4.2 rod put one of these on and uh, I'm gonna set up one of mine I might use a uh, what you call it I can't remember what you call them with the bars coming out for place to make sure it hits the bottom. So this is a very light rig. This is filmed on the Panasonic, the old camera. Yeah. Um, you, want it, you want it straight out LC or do it to the right? A straight out please. That makes sense, but the heavier light weight should be going out to the right. Here we go. Straight out there, no talking touch. Okay. Just gonna let the line let it sit. Do we lose to it? Do we put a bell on a long long? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do that. Please. It will be good then. I've got these look, ribbons to tie down if it's too windy. Tie it down one. Now, now you, you know you just have to be careful. Right, let's put a bell on. And then we're re we're ready. Really. I can't see the tip. No, we never hear it. It's got rubber on those uh, end of those rods. Remember, I put a uh, what do you call it? Glue gun. I glue gun the end of them tips. I glue gun them. Yeah, I can feel the weight on there. Mm -hmm. Everything's pulling to the right, Elsie. Everything's pulling to the right. Okay. Yeah, it's a light weight, so I'm going to pull it on your right hand side. I put a heavier weight, it's, it's, it's pulling quite a bit, which is all right. So I'll put a big weight, one of your rods might be a big weight, but straight out in the middle, because that light weight is getting dragged down. Okay. 
Okie dokie. All right. Bait clip, roto bait clip using a squid on a size. This is a size two, I think. Four. So here's, yeah, so on your other rod, is that it's a pulley rig, it's got that roto bait clip there. So when I fling it out, it's not going to come off because this clip is a splashdown thing and it releases only when it splashes down. So this is from Trident. We've, we've uh -huh. viewed them before. I'm just going to wrap this one up a little bit. So we're going to have a heavier rig sitting out in the middle because there is a lot of tide dragging to the right. So the light rig, I don't mind going that to the right because the heavy rig, we don't want that drifting. I mean, the, the rig where, where this is, we don't want that flying around in the tide. So this is uh, from packets of squid from the shop that used to be open <laughs> before the lockdown. So, just going to wrap it up. Nice put hook, nice sharp hook pointing, showing. Mm -hmm. That's the whole squid guts and everything. Hopefully, I'll catch you something. That, I need a bigger weight for this because it is tight. So I'm going to give you a blue, yellow. Blue one's here, red one. Red one out. I'll give you one of these. They won't move now. Soft, uh, soft ends. These are from uh, Angling Direct, I think. Only a couple of pounds, two pounds or something like that. This stuck. Get the prongs out like that, so it grips. Yeah. Uh, it's nearly ready to go. This one is pretty much going to sit in here. Mm. Watch. These can take up to a size four, I think. Six it won't take. These these uh, roto bait clips. That sits in there like that. Let me get this right. Hang on. Mm. And there, like that. Yeah, lovely. That's it. <laughs> that's it. That should stay on there. Because I normally find it, it does only fly one. off. It does fly off in mid flight. <clears throat> you can't fly off now. Let's get your second rod out. Get a long, long one. Great. Great stuff. Yeah, I think uh, quite lots of construction style here. So lots of uh, quite lots of noise, but um, actually can throw it away. Here we go. Drift in the sand. Oh dear. That way it held the sand. It's good. It's good. Put a bell on it, that'll be fine. Yeah, it could. So we needed the red one to grip. So 
sorry, not of Lois. Yeah. Well, you can see half ten quite not quite a lot of people going out, yeah, but uh, yeah, lovely day today. Yeah. Part of the noise. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Stage tune. So with my rod, I'm going to have the 170 gram weight and boom rigs, that's what they're called, yep. Mm -hmm. Boom rigs. We special. Because look, over by the buckle area, there's loads of fishermen out there. There's place showing and they're lined up. We're in the middle of that park, behind the park. Uh, so they are attracted to bees and, you know, bling. So. Uh, <laughs> Very special. Yeah, believe, yeah, so this is quite special and it might attract them, who knows? Just from having all these bits of metal there. But we'll find out. I'm not going to fling this out too far because you can't really. It doesn't tangle up these rigs, they don't tangle up. Really? Yeah. I could do another way. Someone knows I can go out yet. Testing this, cannon out, we're in the shade, so hopefully it's exposing for your face. Yes, I mean. Left hand rod, boom rig with like worm. The red one we've got squid, a little bit of a squid and then uh, three hooks with Log worm. Image stabilizer on. People rowing their boats, having fun. First day of sunshine this year, 2021. We're here, we're here for the serious business of fishing. Hiya, Tom. What happened? Well. Been here what an hour and a half? Fishing. Yes. And um, I didn't think it'll be very. I mean, if this is October, we'll be you know, the tenth waiting or something <laughs> like that. But it's not no. one of them days. End of the March. It's yeah. March. It's cold. Well, it's not cold. It has been cold. Probably so, a lover, not really juicy. Yeah? <laughs> that lover. Yeah. You know, the fishes aren't out there, but however, I do think I do think we're going to be into the mackerel a bit later on. Really? I think so. Yeah. No mackerel, not not in the March. A bit warmer. 
Yeah, Cornwall have. Yeah, Cornwall is massive Cornwall, we know that. It's just something took a little bit of your squid. I'm not sure whether it's a crab or not. But fights are not coming. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's, it's kind of what we expect anyway. So you bought this one today? No, this is what, ages ago from the oh, okay. tackle shop. Just little squids. They have been attracting the fish. Yeah. So I can it's, smell. <laughs> it's sandy out there. It's not really uh, snaggy at all. So this is not snagged as you've seen. We sat out there for hours, nothing's had a gun these two. So I'm gonna fling back out there. Yeah. There's, a place. There's a place out there in Lavia. Yeah, this time we can't reckon lies. They have uh, any movement. Our walk. Nope. No. Nope. They they are small spike. I didn't see any fish. It's not like watching crazy. Yeah, because of reflection, I can't see Tom floating out because I can see only my face. It's difficult to have a look. But anyway, yeah, hopefully, hopefully night time have some fish. Yeah, finger cross. Stay tuned. We're waiting for a light to come from PC World, so we'll be able to show you loads and loads of good scenes at night with the light on you know it you can have it well we want we want some fish maybe who knows we might be able to get a uh, a place if they deep hook themselves we'll eat it if they don't we'll let them go Chelsea. Directional mic, I'm kind of standing with the uh, waves behind me. So hopefully you can hear you say something. Aloha. Yeah, Good yeah. afternoon. How are you today? So we've got the mic on top. So this is on the uh, our new camera, making sure that we can get you the best kind of Images yeah. improve on our on what we do. Yes, of course. That I think it's the, it's the Kevin Nash. Can't remember what it's called. K N X, I think. K N X yes. trolley. Yes. It's quite good for sea fishing because you can prop it right up. Yeah, I can see. You can have it low. My rock outside. You have it low, or you can have it high. Uh, obviously, the back is raised. So it's not as high as it could be because we've got it on the, the back of a raised uh, gravel bit. Okay. Hopefully you can't really hear too much wind noise. It's not too windy. It's not too windy at all. He's waiting for a fish. It's slack tide now, Elsie. Slack tide. Bang on. It's about five minutes past slack tide. Don't really catch much after slack tide. We know that. so many people down there fishing, you can see the rods, so many, and they're all trying to get the place, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, we're trying to get the place down there, anyway let's take some photographs. Run down. Yeah, it just set up today. Yeah, it might come on.
recording. <laughs> this is what you gotta put up with. This is easy as well. Seafood is easy to climb up. The, the hardest, what's the hardest place to climb up? Portland. 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 Not Portland Bill. Portland by the uh, ferry bridgehead. Yeah. <laughs> that is there. a mountain. You gotta be so fit to climb up that. Yeah. It's good fishing here though. Yeah, good for Good for everything. Long long's not even heard once. I think I've possibly had this slack line bite. Maybe. Maybe a slack line bite. One bite, Elsie. Yeah, I saw that's it. Song, yeah. Saw it shake. Heard it shake. The bells. That was it. And this rod was on your very small number six hook. Uh, only on lugworm. Four point two meters, or I don't know. 13 and a half foot, something like 13 and a half foot, 14 foot. Sorry, if that moves again, that means it's on there. So, it's not like we didn't get any bites at all. Here's a bite. Maybe we've got a dogfish. No, there's nothing walking by. Could be, could be she was swimming by. But he was way over there before. Yeah, I think I I don't think it was him swimming. We bounced up, me and you just bounced up. It's worth I think it's worth pulling that in. Let's see. I'll put it in. So sometimes the fish gets stuck on there, yeah. Remember that's a very small hook, we don't doubt. Let me take the bow. Sometimes it's it's worth you know, he might be stuck on there. And then I'll change the bait for you anyway. Because we know he would any in any case he would have oh, eaten it. Tight. Yeah, go down. Go down to the shore. Yeah, 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 I'll take you. I'll go there. So time now, 5.43, bit low tides, half six, I think. So we've been here, no fish, and there was definitely a boat. Definitely. I'm just going to check low tide. Hopefully it's not stuck, not helping anymore. 
just wants me to help, but I'll probably stuck. What's he like? Hiya, Tom. Hello. So you had a bite, all three of your baits had gone. It was a bit slow on striking. So I'm using a carbon fibre from uh, bait needle from Trident. It's got a really large hole. Even on a size six, very small hook, tiny little hook, look at that. That's where you had the bite on. Sliding up, coming across, and then leaving just a little bit at the bottom sticking out and hooking it through. You know, nice junky pieces of worm like that. And we had left them in there for hours and nothing had touched it. But now just, they start eating. Yeah, something ate all three of your worms. And I didn't even secure it on as well as I've done it with this using this bait needle last cast. Uh, so something took a big piece of chunky worm. So they're taking here at Seaford chunky bits of worm up the, th up the line like that. Mm -hmm. And here's my rig, very simple, you know, you, you've seen it before. Now using a blue 100, 125 gram, I think they are, the blue one. Grip lead. And we had the definite bite. Just a bit. How many were? How many Ooh. worm left? One. I've got bags of them. This is a uh, fresh lug. It means they're alive, I think. But anyway, let's cast it out. We're going to get some. Okay. Well, it's still so nice. Beautiful. Tide, low tide is what? Low tide, 7.37, yeah, same as sun, sunset, mm -hmm. low tide, same as sunset, so it's falling, it's slack, so prime time is now, this hour, probably while we've got that bite, prime time of fishing is between now and low tide, which is between an hour and a half, and because uh, look how, look how far it's gone. The water was up here earlier, wasn't it? Yeah. And now, it's like so far out. Now I can likewise cast so far out as well. And that's exactly what I'm doing, I'm casting far out. I'm looking at the line. Of it. I'm going to go straight out a bit more. See Tom, we smoke. <laughs> look at his castle. Using the old camera. Yeah, have a line there. Oh, great. Not too bad. Okay, stay tuned. I hope have a fish soon. As soon as we move down a bit, bites are coming, are more registering, it's easier, right? I do believe we might get mackerel tonight. Keep going, LC, keep going. You can do it. Lift it up a bit, lift your other up a bit, that's it. So you get stuck on the bottom of your uh, gravel. 
Lift your rod higher a bit, pump it a bit. Pull it the rod, rod at the top here, put your hand here. That's it. It's spinning, look, it's spinning, you need more drag on that. Go. Pump it. Do you want me to go? Quick. Here you go, 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 Here you It was an axe swimmer. Give it a minute. It was rattling, just stay there. If it rattles again, strike, I would. Rattling, see that? I think we caught that on camera. Keep your rod high, Elsie. Keep your rod high. Do you want me to do it? Keep it up. Hold that. Feel the fish. You never know it might be. All the all the bites are with that one. I don't, I don't feel the fish. Did you feel the fish? No. No, bite, I though. feel I feel really happy. Yeah, we caught it on camera. The bite. So there's bites going on, but you're just not getting them. Number six foot. It could be a tiny whiting. Yeah. It's a tiny little whiting. I'm saying, oh. It's on the way. Film. Look through the lens, see if it's a red light. Come on, see that. <laughs> well done, I'll see. How do you feel? Good. <laughs> oh, the same picture. <laughs> At least no plank. <laughs> Shaking. Might as well, might as well wind it in, Elsie. You've got to change the bait anyway. A bit quicker. Keep the rod high, that's it. Might be a tiny whiting and you won't blank. If he's swimming, you won't feel anything. If he's like, I don't know, a big fish will fight against you, then you'll feel something. In fact, it's quite a good thing if you don't feel anything, because he might be swimming. It's not, the weight is not dragging on the floor. So this is slack tide, low tide. Uh, and then we still got a bite, so I was expecting no bites. Two big lug worms.
two big log worms on that. Uh, pulley rig. Keep winding. Panasonic camera, so it's not really night vision. We saw a bite. I, I did say keep. I did say obviously keep an eye on it. It was shaking a bit. So we don't know. Could be a waiting. Really heavy? No. Not really heavy, could be swimming. Wind faster but walk towards this sea. Wind faster. No. What? Yeah. Was it? Oh, okay. No, it's a dogfish. It's a big one. Oh, that felt really heavy. I thought, what on earth was that? Hang on a minute. Yeah. Hang on a minute, fella. No bite indication at all. Oh, lip hook. Easy. Oh, Tom got a smooth hand. Uh, hang on a minute. Dogfish is, is it on? Is it camera? Yeah. You sure? Right, shine it on me. Is that a dogfish or a smooth hand? Dogfish, yeah. Smooth hound. Smooth hound, I don't know. Smooth hound, you've got smooth hound, right? Yeah. That's, they got a minute, that don't look like a dogfish. It's got them little barbs there. It's a really nice fella. Yeah, he's got beautiful eyes in. I thought that was really heavy dragging it in. I thought, what is heavy is that? I mean, that's just. I mean, that's a smooth hound. No, I can't see a smooth hound. Have you used a smooth hound? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Leave your comments, I don't know what that is. It's a nice big fish, though. How do you take a picture? You take a picture? You hold it. No. Hey, Robert. No. Hello. Oh, I should be. Yeah. So we'll see. I'm shining light on you. Light on your face. There we go. Mm -hmm. okay. How's day? How's day been? Ooh, it was a good day. Really sunny, warm, nice weather. Yep. Blue sky, calm sea, and we caught two fish. Two fish, we had loads of fish today. Yes. We kept missing them, dropping them. On my rod, I, the boom rig, I did not get one bite indication, not one. Not on braid, not on anything. The boom my rig. Got a lot. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it. That last dogfish, spotted fish, or whatever, smooth hound, or it didn't look like a normal dogfish. It looked like a, a very lightly dotted dogfish, maybe a different type of dogfish. Yeah. But wherever that was, that was heavy. No bite indication at all. So boom rigs, I don't recommend. I'm not even going to use that no more. I, I, I'm never using boom rig again. Because that was yeah. for the place to keep, you know, make sure the place were at the bottom, the things sunken on at the bottom. Yeah. Never using that again. But I caught that on one large, each hook had a large uh, fresh lugworm on it. I guess they're not dead yet, that's what it means. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So we've been getting more luck with large lugworms, not even small bits of lugworm, but big pieces of them or big whole pieces of lugworm. Uh, anyway, the, the um, pulley rig, we had a bite in that, not really that good, it's the old same old three hooks coming out, very simple design, that's the best one so far. The pulley rig did use that aero pulley and it is a bit high resistance. That's the only thing that's not good about that. But anyway. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, yeah, press the like button and subscribe. And also put the notification bell. Yeah, then... this this camera here is the Panasonic, it's the old one. Yeah. So we have been mixing up with that new camera, but we'll get a light for that new camera soon. 
so everything will not be like this kind of half lit it'll be like fully lit up hopefully yeah all right so, so we all have this video will have a mixture of two, two different yeah. cameras so thank you for watching see you next time bye now all right you have caught elsie and i did ask you to wind the reel in oh what is that thing you did hook Whoever that is, oh, sorry, well, catfish. Catfish? Oh, no, it's not. I know there's a name for these guys. I don't know what it is, though. He's well hooked, deep hooked. Ah, I caught one. Yeah, it's because I told you to wind it in. Mm. Right, the hook is here. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Ah! <laughs> you caught a little fish. What is that? Please tell us. Is it? I don't know. That is like a snake. It's not an eel. What is that? Waiting. <laughs> no, that's not waiting. You got to get a picture of this. You got to hold that. This is yours. <laughs> Last wind in. I don't think we'd be third time lucky. We really give no bite indication, just packing up and catching two fishes. Very no, last I, scene. I don't, I don't think it's a fish here. I feel really light. Yeah, it's light. It's no fish. It could be on them little weather they were. Tiny little thing. Even smaller than a whiting. Crab. The crabs ain't thankfully not here yet, I don't think. Yeah, really light. I don't think so. Nothing. All right, that's it. Oh, all eaten. All eaten. Oh my God, well, let's have a look. Yep, everything eaten. Every single lugworm has been eaten. So there is fish here in March. March the 30th. 30th, yeah. There's fish here. The water's temperature is 9 degrees, warm today. There's fishes you can catch loads here. Come fishing, come fishing, just go fishing.